I haven't told anybody this yet, but I uh, I did cosplay at AvengerCon in episode one. <laughs> you did? No, I did, yeah, I, I did. Good to see you. Um, congrats on the show. It is just absolutely delightful. Thank um, you. I, I want to start by asking, what was your I'm in the MCU moment? Was there a moment on set you were like, oh, this is real, this is happening? Uh, I think my first, uh, like, oh, shit, I'm in the MCU moment uh, was the first time I met uh, Kevin, Kevin Feige. Mm. And I was like, this guy is, a, 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 he's standing right in front of me. This is Kevin Feige. He's like freaking yeah. the Marvel God. Yeah. He just, he's the one that makes everything happen. And, and he's shaking my hand. I was like, dude, yeah, you're going to be okay, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's pretty, yeah, I would say meeting Kevin was a, a big moment, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't have a single moment for me. Every day, every moment, everything that I do around this uh, this franchise is a, what? This is real? This is how it goes down? It's, it's just uh, amazement, amazement, amazement. It, there's yeah. no other way to describe it. I mean... Whether it was the red carpet, whether it was the premiere, whether it is uh, this, you know, it's just fantastical. I love that. And it's it must be so fun working with Iman, who kind of is a real life Kamala Khan. She loves the she loves Marvel so much. She knows so much about it. Um, what is what is it like? Just does it do you guys start to feel like a real family through that lens? Oh, yeah, totally. totally. Yeah, it's a uh, I mean, Iman is Kamala Khan. So we are watching Iman go through the same thing that we will watch Kamala Khan go through. Uh, and, and yeah, it, I feel like, you know, that's my little sister and I gotta protect her. I, I feel like I have the same energy towards Iman as Amr does towards Kamala. Uh, but I also think that like for Muniba at least, I think, yes, there's this whole aspect where a child is getting powers and is involved in this sort of fantasy world and all. But she, there's also, the push-pull of teenagehood. This kid is growing up and there's those normal things about, no, you can't stay out late. No, you can't go with boys. And, you know, um, so there's that aspect of it as well. There's uh, that, um, and Iman is growing up. I mean, she's not, she's only 19. So, uh, you know, I, me, Zanobi, I look on her as somebody who still just started her journey and, uh, so I, I keep that in mind quite a bit also. Uh, Kamala Khan's uh, family is very important to her story in the comics. Uh, what, how do you think that her family defines her as a hero in the show? I think her family's ethos is always like, be good, do good. And she's struggling yeah. with that a lot because she's doing things that her family and particularly her mother does not like. And I think that there's a great internal struggle there. Like, I want to do this, but Ami won't like it, Abu won't like it. And um, so she, she's she's struggling a lot with uh, those things. I think, as any as teenager well. would. Yeah, I, yeah. Think, I think that is the plight of, you know, a child of immigrants, immigrants especially from, yeah. you know, the South Asian diaspora. Correct. Where, uh, you know, we're growing up so different than our parents did. And like, we're just trying to do normal things. You know, normal things that our friends in school are doing. And because our parents didn't get to do that when they were younger, they don't know anything about it. And they want to protect us from what they don't know. Uh, and, you know, there's that constant battle of like, OK, I got to figure out how to yeah. go get around my parents to do this normal thing. But why should I have to do so much work just to do this normal thing? Why can't I just do what all my friends are doing without having to jump through these hoops? Yeah. Right, because right. your parents' vision when they brought you here was not all those things. It was either you be a doctor, a lawyer, an engineer, a computer guy, and you married well. And so I think there's a huge struggle for the, like Sagar probably experienced it growing up with it. With it. There's, a, there's a big struggle. I still do. Yeah, yeah, I bet you do. I'm all my friends' kids going through it. My friends are like still South Asian mothers and the kid is like, you know, wanting to go to Coachella and do pot. I mean, it's there's just a big divide. Yeah. The question is when Avengers Con becomes real, who are you all cosplaying as? <laughs> I don't know if I could fit in, but I would. Yusuf Khan would love to play uh, Iron Man. 
I haven't told anybody this yet, but I uh, I did cosplay at AvengerCon in episode one. <laughs> you did? No, I did. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. I I, uh, I really wanted to be there, so I did background work uh, that day, and I put on a uh, an, an Iron Man uh, box outfit. It was it was me and Rish. Really? Yeah. We didn't tell anybody. <laughs> wow. Can we see you in the episode? Yeah, you can. We made the final cut. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's the moment where uh, uh, Kamala and Bruno realize that Kamala left the gloves in the bathroom. There's just a little Iron Iron Man box behind oh, her, yeah. and, uh, and a Captain America box right next to me. Oh, uh, man. You're to hear first, folks. Don't yeah. tell anyone else that story. That's what no, I actually <laughs> was thinking of it when I watched it in the theater. Like, I'm like, I wonder which one is Sagar, because you had told me that you've yeah. done it. Yeah. Wow. That is See, amazing. that's the problem. The dad doesn't know what the son's up to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, thank you guys so much for your time. That was an amazing story. And congrats, Thanks, Ash. Thanks so much. Thanks so much, Ash.